Them is a horror drama anthology series on Amazon Prime by first-time writer and creator Little Marvin. Season 1 of the series takes place in the 1950s during the Great Migration and follows a black family as they move into an all-white neighborhood in California. The Emery family is soon haunted by murderous spirits in their house and by equally malevolent racist neighbors who seem to stop at nothing to get them to move away. Real tough, huh, Buck? <laughs> Terrorized from all directions, the family spirals out of control as ghosts of their own darkness begin to take over. Well, I'm right here, motherfucker. Last seen standing inside a ring of fire, what happens to the Emery family next? If the ending of them season 1 has left you with questions, you've come to the right place. Spoilers ahead. <laughs> who is the priest in the black hat? The priest in the black hat who first starts haunting the family soon after they move into Compton is a character who committed atrocious murders motivated by racism many decades earlier. As explored in the episode that delves into his origin story, the priest believed that he could communicate with God and eventually convinced himself that God had ordered him to cleanse the world by destroying the black community. My flawed thinking. Did not the Lord tell us through scripture that these... As we find out later, the priest had been listening to the devil instead, who was disguised as a young boy. We see them make a deal with promises of great power, should the priest succeed in causing as much pain as possible to African Americans. The priest, who acts self-righteous in thinking he's doing the Lord's work, ends up destroying his own community when it bursts into flames after he kills the helpless black couple. The character is a symbol of systemic racism and is finally destroyed when Lucky tells him that she is no longer blind and can see him exposing his weakness. Where does the ring of fire around the Emery house come from? As Lucky walks towards her home, after escaping from the mental asylum, she has a determined look that seems to suggest that she has now given up any hope of finding justice or equality and realizes that she must stand up against the forces tormenting her family. We see something similar happen when the pregnant African-American woman curses the priest and his community just before they burn her. See? In that instance, the room she is in, and subsequently the rest of the community town, burst into flames. The flames seen outside the Emery house in the finale are possibly born out of the same energy and passion that Lucky now feels and seen to symbolize the undying spirit of the black community that refuses to be extinguished. <laughs> The flames also likely serve as a warning of retribution to the bigoted neighbors if they continue to torment you the family. You never should have come here! What did you do to Betty? You don't belong here! This is our home! Go back to where I you came from! Ah! 